Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, uh, it's a pretty insane video, I gotta say myself. Um, recently, I got a diamond mule deer. And uh, just tracking this thing took way longer than it should have and it, it just wasn't fun. But along with the diamond muley as you can see is a melanistic black buck and what makes this story even crazier is that that melanistic is just about 500 meters away from the diamond and I had no idea so yeah it's it's an insane video uh, I'll probably do a voiceover for most of this because I didn't have my headset on me at the moment and uh, yeah I just recorded what I had so hopefully my um, recording system on PlayStation it gets finicky at times but hopefully I was able to get the diamond muley me finding it and me killing it on screen because it was a real crazy and kinda scary moment what happened with the diamond muley but I was able to take him and yeah I let the video play on here for the next bit to just show you the rest of the video instead of me talking so enjoy oh my gosh I'm literally running away from a level 5 just to get a melanistic you know what screw that black button Dang. Was that that level 7 that was over there? Shot. What the heck? That's a big boy. Oh, dude. I seriously thought that there was a 5 in there. Dude, why are they so freaking huge? Holy crap. Alright, I bet a lot of you are wondering why I made the decision I made during this hunt. And, um, you know, I really wanted that mule deer, but, I don't know, I also wanted the melanistic. I also killed the melanistic first, and the mule deer was running away from me. My thought process was, if I run and go get this melanistic, I'll get the melanistic, of course, and I'll be able to come back and this mule deer will be in its zone. So I'll have a better chance of getting this mule deer down. And I don't know. It didn't necessarily go as planned as you'll see in this upcoming few clips. And I whole, held off on some shots that I probably could have took. But I just wasn't comfortable with them. Even though in the end I took a shot that was way too risky. But yeah, this video is going to get a little weird. <laughs> just because of how this video plays out and how this hunt plays out so I'll let it play on again and stop talking what? holy crap wait that's him that's him that's him that's him okay good lord though alright what class is mule deer Oh my gosh, he's a... <laughs> okay, he's... 250 out. No. He is screwing me. Oh, I'm so nervous. <sighs> Alright, I'm a distance check it. He's around 230. 
And if he's coming back... But my freaking wind. So as you just saw there... Um, yeah, I, that mule deer just never gave me much of a shot. He was always moving, and I... You can almost calculate when the deer is going to move and stop just by how mule deer move in this game when they're alert and I don't know I just wasn't comfortable with it even though I knew I'd probably regret not taking one of those shots and I ended up regretting not taking one of those shots earlier but I just thought it was better me tracking him than messing up the shot so yeah I'll cut most of the rest of the video out because of the long time of tracking it took and yeah so I'll let the video play out again for this next clip once again as my PlayStation always does I get screwed with footage uh, as you can see it's only pulling up me showing the mule deer and what had happened is when I had clipped this or started filming it just filmed when I claimed it. It never filmed the shot. And if y'all would have seen the shot, you can already see how laggy it is. And that's what I had to deal with during the shot. And the shot just, you can't really explain it with the words of what had happened, but I'll do my best. There was this zone, and I almost gave up on tracking this deer. And I shot this one other muley buck and I was just getting ready to give up and as I walk out I turn over to my right and I see this mule this mule deer just trotting out and it was my the buck I've been hunting for and it was lagging really bad it was just not good conditions for <laughs> what I wanted it to be and I ended up leading the shot very far forward at close range on a trot and I got very lucky and hit its neck which drop shot it and at first I thought it dropped back and into its spine and I just messed the shot up and I was hoping I would at least hit lungs but I got really lucky and just barely clipped its neck I wish I would have got that on camera because it was just overall an insane heart pumping hunt and I'm glad that I was able to get this buck and not screw up the shot so Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll let the rest of the clips play out. There we go.